right now, we're at Black Acres of the Gambia, and we're in the middle of Sweet Juicy Mama's Avocado Orchard, which consists of about, how many trees you think you got out here? I don't know, Sweet count them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, you probably got about- One uh, of avocados? Avocados. This is the biggest, isn't it? The biggest one right here? The one in the background is the biggest, Sweet Mama. No. Oh, he didn't know that one over there by the water tanks. What water tank? Right there. See the one right in front of the water tank? This look taller to me. Oh, okay. See well, the tip? I mean, it may be half dead, but. No, it's not half dead. From being in the bucket. Yeah, that's what I said. It looks taller. Fresh though. green. Yeah, it's taller than me. So. I think it's the tallest right okay, here. Okay, well, all right, then, sweet mama. But you got a few that's this size or maybe a little smaller and stuff. So let's walk around and see some more stuff, all right? Okay, okay. This okay. the avocado orchard. Mm hmm. Guys, why nobody told me in the comment section, Rick, these might be too many plants you got at that compound. Man, we had about like two, 3,000 trees growing. And right now, even though the land is as vast as it is, I'm running out of space, guys. I'm so running out of space. Right. But with a lot of opportunity. Yeah, now look at this one. Here we go. This one is growing too. I don't even know the different varieties, sweet mama. Do you know the different varieties? Hot, hot, hot. Okay. It's I hot like today, guys. I like, I like the butter pears. They call them butter pears. They grow as big as a grapefruit. Mm -hmm. And and they are good. And it's round like a grapefruit, too. Okay. Here goes some more right here. Some of them have more leaves than the other ones. Now, when they get burnt like that, they're sunburned. I just go ahead and put it on off. So, uh, wow, today hot. It does, sweet mama. Just think when we be able to walk around out here with a, when you can walk around out here with a bikini on. I don't stuff. know all that. Oh, you don't know all that? Okay. Unless I'm getting in the water. Okay, man. You got your own little With some watermelon. That's what, oh, <laughs> we got to go through those things, right? But anyway, here we go. We got some more. And this bad boy keeps extending. Back and it's all over. The more he put, the more it will grow. There yep, was something right here, guys. Mm -hmm. I just hope we have enough room. Whatever. We expand in the land. So anyway, let's go. Oh, uh, let's go over here. Okay, I'm right behind you, mister. We're not going to go all the way, sweet mama. But close enough to so what? know what we're talking about. See that big bubble tree on the left? It's a big, pretty, beautiful bubble tree. I love that tree. It's like a, a movie or something. Just yeah. sitting there like in the trains. You know, it makes talk, you dream. I hope they don't talk that stuff in the video how to pronounce it right. Is, is it, it a baba or a bubble or? <laughs> you moving too fast, Mr. Rick. Right, so. Because they're going to say they can't hear you. We got to get the mics real soon when the borders open. Get that mic out my face. <laughs> So anyway, uh, if you can see. That's the, just beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's mm -hmm. like uh, something just, you Mystical. just. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, guys. That that tree right there, the yeah. bubble tree or the bowl. Yeah, whatever. bowl, however you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Now, see, we don't move way away from the orchard back there. We're coming closer to the riverside. Mm -hmm. So that right there is another bubble. This right here is a baby bubble. This one right here? Yep. A baby bubble. So when we get like 6 million subscribers and stuff like that, this, 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 this tree, <laughs> what happened? Nothing. This tree is going to probably be almost about that size in the next two, three years. <laughs> anyway, this is a bubble tree. That is a mango. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you can visualize, when you walk throughout the, the, the uh, land, it's readily accessible, different fruits and vegetables. So over here, you have access to bubble. And we, we just- Mango. Go ahead, sweet mom. I was just saying, is the, what you call that? The um, avocados are that way. Where we just walk from. Stop touching my butt. Just saying, you saw. Anyway, uh, this right here is a citrus plant, which is let me smell it right here. This this what my Gambian brothers taught me and stuff right here. It's like an orange or what? You uh, ooh, 
Yeah. What it smell like? Mm, that's a lemon. You want to smell it? No, I could do it myself. Okay, I don't ahead. know where your hand <laughs> been. <laughs> you don't know where? That wasn't the right hand, so don't even go ahead. <laughs> All right. And here's another bubble tree, guys. This looks like a macadamia. Is it bubble? Uh, I think this is a bubble tree, man. Wow, it, it, looks looks it do look like a macadamia, but it ain't. Yeah. It's definitely a bubble. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. If you can see, guys, I tried to uh, put them in a, in a single line. So... In the near future, you'll be able to look toward the what, the grillers, and you'll see a line of bubble trees. Grill, it's right there, guys. Mm -hmm. the, the, which is what's going to be on the fence real soon. Right. And he said a line of the trees going. Okay, so Honestly, you get it, right, guys? You probably got about. Uh, conservatively speaking. Conservatively speaking. About um, 50 bubble trees growing. Here's another bubble tree we brought out here and stuff. Started from the seed. Okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking a guess right here. I think this right here is a uh, star fruit. Wait, it looks star like a star fruit. Yeah, somehow it was in the in the bubble uh, uh, bucket. So I said, hey. Hey, let's grow and see how it turn out. I think they're all starting to grow when we used to just drop the seeds and they weren't growing and then we'll take the bucket and mix it with something else. All right, exactly. So step over this string. Guys. That string there, guys. This, guy, this right here has to be about a... Uh, help me out with this, sweet mama. I say this is probably like a 30 meter by 100 meter. Mm-hmm. 30 meters by 100 meters? Oh, I'll say maybe, yeah, about that. I say 30 meters by 100 meters. We're standing right now in the middle of our organic water bead. I mean, excuse me, not water bead. Watermelon, watermelon patch. Melon. It's yeah. a water, it will be a watermelon patch. It will be a watermelon patch. So we're going to have watermelons in here, sweet melons. All over there, from starting the all the way over there. That's the steel part of the... Can they see the little uh, white string in that sweet mama? Well, we're going to walk towards the the other side then. Okay. Then turn around and give them what we say. I should have marked it off, shouldn't I? I guess I didn't. It's all good, sweet mama. Yes, it is. We're walking over here on some, uh, some beds that Harmon is choreographing and stuff. Oh, not choreographing, that's music. He already planted some leeks, I believe. Leeks and some beets. Oh, he did? Leak beats, and I don't know exactly what else he put in that bed. But yeah. here's the line right here, guys. One of the line. Right. And it's from all the way down there that way. Yes. And it's a big box. You get the idea. There you go. 30 meters. All the way around meters. that way. Yeah. And this is the watermelon. Milk. Nothing but watermelon. We're going to yeah. we want a uh, plant there. Right. We want to flood the Gambian market with watermelons. Um, Pineapples, everything. Pineapples, reasonable cost stuff. We ain't gonna boost the price like the devils do during the off season. We gonna flood the market with water. Keep it the zero. same. Huh, sweet mama? Keep it the same. Maybe a little bit up. I don't know. Whatever. So, again, this is what Harmon, this is Harmon Project here. He said, hey, Dodd. <laughs> uh, can we put the citrus plants over here? I said, yeah. He said, thank you, Dodd. Yeah, here you go right here. He's making it happen. And stuff. You didn't even say it right. I didn't say it right. Thank you, Dad. Like <laughs> They're laughing at you over there. <laughs> so see how Harmon is putting these citrus uh, plants down this uh, line. Here. All of these are citrus. Lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit. All that way, guys. Uh, mandarin, all that stuff. Mm, you can smell it, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's finally got in the ground. I thank the, I thank all the honorable ancestors for providing us with the opportunity to come to the greatest continent on the planet and bless us with the most fertile land in the Gambia, even if I say so myself. And what we're doing right now is taking all those uh, seeds that we planted four years ago and we're finally bringing them and putting them in the ground, the ones that survived. Now, a lot of them died because 
they was in that bucket and the roots were trying to expand and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, hey, they, they, you know, they say, hey, only the strong survive. So the strongest plants made it out here. Uh, On bag. Oh, a bag, Black Acres of the Gambia. Oh, we're gonna so, walk down and see the mm -hmm. aloe vera. So let's check out. Okay. Let's check out our new fence man. Ooh, he jamming with the steak. I mean, the raw. Yeah, some of y'all call him the rice man. But uh, anyway, let's check out his work. Now, this right here, we've never seen it done like this before. The other guys were always working like one pillar at a time. This guy is about to tackle all these pillars at one time. Yeah, that's good. What's... He's going to fill them all up simultaneously. And uh, be rocking and rolling. Now, Let's see stuff. how that works. See right here? This is solid work right here, guys. Look at this right here. I've never seen uh, a, a sturdier pillar in my whole life. <laughs> this is the best pillar. I mean, look at the workmanship on this. This is pretty awesome right here and stuff, you know. The only one that probably can make a better pillar than this right here is Harmon. So, that's it. Harmon's <laughs> <laughs> right, right there, guy. Thank you, Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing at homing, guys. <laughs> so, anyway, coming on down here, I don't know where you're going to put that mango because they always pop up in the bucket. I don't know how in the heck all these plants get in the same bucket. Anyway, this is going to look pretty nice coming down this road right here. This is a two lane road. Mm -hmm. And as you come, through the gate, and if you make a right, you're coming down a 10 uh, meter road, mm -hmm. and to the left, you have some this citrus is... plants going down there, just like we said. Mm -hmm. You have the uh, organic uh, beds where we're planting. Tell them what's up here uh, on the first the first uh, bed. You need hummer. All I see is the bag that says leeks. Okay, but I had, some I had originally said watermelon. Beads, but yeah, I think this is better here. They switched well, whatever it around they on me. Yes, they switched it around on me. Now, again, this is my son Harmon doing. I wanted the beds to be 31 meters by 31 meters, and so what Harmon did was partition them uh, smaller mm -hmm. than 31 meters by 31 meters. So we have about what 24 of these or 12. I think it's 20, this is 12, uh -huh. but it's not complete. Right. So what you say is in this one? I think what's in here is onions. Onions. Red he onions, I saw some beets. Uh -huh. And here's a package here. And he mixed it all up now. Yeah, and they're organic stuff because I bought them from America. Now, we don't know if they're heat resistant, guys. So if you bring something well, in here and want to do this. Huh? It is growing, it grew on the roof. Okay, well that's cool, then it's heat resistant then. Cause my beets always grow. Okay. And yeah, some beets down there, that paper he got down there, but these are leeks, so I think he put some leeks in here. Gotcha then. Hopefully they grow, I hadn't had leeks since I left America. Okay. Well, they sell them here, but they're coming from, I think Holland. Oh my God, the enemy. Uh, and then some the Chinese couple that we normally get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We normally get our, uh, Bitter guard from they had some leaks in there. Okay, I think she grew her stuff too. Oh, does so, she? Yes, yeah. the, the now, if place it's, we go to, yeah. Now, if it's organic or not, I don't know. Well, we'll find out. And, and guys, we finally got uh, sweet juicy mama's um aloe veras out here. Now, this is mandarin. Harmon taught me this. This is mandarin. Oh, got, so got a little fungus on it now. Got a little fungus, but it should knock off real soon because out here it's not congested like it was at the uh hello that's the uh, our new fence land. <laughs> and so, this is the aloe vera y'all believe it or not we have maybe one a small aloe vera that we started with we planted it and this is what come out of it and we stole that from the first compound auntie kathy i mean i don't steal we borrowed that from auntie kathy compound actually her security guy gave that gave to that us to as a gift we didn't give him well, anything. Gave it to us for free? Yeah, you know. That's unusual. He did. He said here. But well, again, you don't give your stuff for free. No. Well, I don't he know. Maybe he needed. Some, he yeah. wanted something. Okay. I remember him giving it to us. Okay, but anyway, um, some of them done changed on us because we hadn't took. 
we hadn't been, you know, watering like we should have been. They, you no, know. I watered these, sweet mama. You just haven't transferred the buckets. I no, said, you messed it no, up. I said they're growing. Why don't you transfer them into a different uh, buckets so they could grow again? She just left them there and didn't even. She don't stop watering on the roof where she Why got. Why would hugs. I water when I have you? Got you got potatoes up there. You got a, hello. A you got uh, all kind of stuff. Uh, whatever, all on the roof. Now I got to water the back, the roof. And sometimes I hear, but anyway, these are all her he plants tripping, right here. Guys. And we can't wait to put them into the ground. Yes, this is good when you're juicing mm -hmm. and putting in your hair, your face. I mean, we just got to see where Harmon going to put them. Well, it has to be somewhere over there. Well, we want them in a the big bed, not these small beds. No. Uh, and I want it all by themselves. Yeah, I do too. So we can spread them and then they'll multiply again. Mm -hmm. And so we can make some shakes and toothpaste and face uh, shampoo and all that other stuff they make. Conditioner, yes. Or just Anything. skin product, some kind of skin product with aloe vera in it. Mm -hmm. So again, I don't know if Hom is gonna come up front. With but they're growing, thing. you can see the stuff coming up, guys. I thought it was grass, but uh, I was wrong again as usual. No, it's actually growing. It is. And this is what, two, three days or a week? I say this has been about maybe four days now. Four days since he put these right in. And again, he said he planted some onions. See over there on that, that piece of paper right there? Oh, that's what that means. I thought that was trash, sweet mama. No, I think it's onions, beets, and leeks. Yeah, what is this right here? These some dark red beets. Yeah, that's beets, guy. You can't hardly see it, but that's what it is. Dark red, Detroit dark red beets. I think this is some same thing. You got the camera on here. Okay, hey now, family. Do I need to get that piece of paper there? Yeah, you can. Okay. So he can hey, family, we need somebody that's going to send us some sweet Vidalia uh, onions and stuff yes. from Vidalia, Georgia. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are some uh, buttery, sweet, nutritious root, uh, on onions, red onions, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else he put in there, but that's what he got. You guys going on break now? Yeah. All right. And these right here hadn't been put anything in there. No, not yet. They just carved them out. That right there look like an onion is growing. I don't know what it is, but I'd it, like to it's eat, in there. Let me grab that because when we first found these out here, they, they said, said you can't eat these. them. They call these bush onions. bush onions. And let us know, hey guys, in the comment section, if any of you guys have ever had the uh, opportunity to taste bush onions and stuff. They grow wild out here. There's mm -hmm. so many around this time. Yeah. I mean, somebody was growing them. They don't just, well, somebody was growing them out here, but these mm -hmm. are called bush onions. I like to give them a try, but they said they don't eat them. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, mm -hmm. we've got some more citrus plants mm -hmm. and I love these right here. These are the uh, watercress somebody told us what. They make words. sauce with this yeah. here at the, in the Gambia. And, and I love to plant these too, so that's why I bought, him, bought them out here. That today. sauce is delicious, guy. I normally juice them. I call them spinach, but they say they're not spinach. But mm -hmm. I juice them in the morning with some of my, put them in my smoothies. But they make a lot of sauce when they're cooking. Good job. So let's roll on over here, guys. Now we're running into our uh, cashew uh, uh, orchard. Going right on through here. And just want to show you the latest progress on our security house. Um, the guys have put some plaster around the back and uh, they're working on the roof right now. Yay. So we think this project about to be finished real, real soon. The roof and then the electrician comes in because the plumber been here. Yeah, he don't done his thing. We just gotta wait to make the connections. And there's they're putting up the timber for the roof right there, guys. So it's coming along. At least I hope we be rainy season where it's already starting drizzled a little bit yesterday. But I think normally the heavy stuff comes around July, yeah. middle July, end of July. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. So let's go on ahead and just going around, then we give them more, more citrus, right? Oh, let me show you how the guy came in. That was, it again, y'all. We with the ordered, sand. Ordered we got the bottom the sand, and the uh, guy that's building the security house said, "Man, this guy brought you a whole bunch of stones." 
and uh, and you be. you know, sweet juicy mom, I gotta go confront him. I know where he's at. Mm -hmm. I just have to. That's just my job. Uh oh, get him, sweet mom. I'm not get afraid. Him. Whatever comes that my way, him I will deal him with it. Chew him up and but me, him if I see you on the street and I see you constantly and you done me wrong, I will confront you and let you know that you did wrong. That's sweet just me. Get him, sweet mama. I mean, I'm not gonna yell at you. I'm gonna let you know, and then I will take a picture and show him. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, that is. I think you owe me more sand. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta order. So we have to order another truckload and this is like a half not even a half well almost a half mm -hmm. nothing but rocks yep. and i think i will talk to the guy job, only because i didn't see this and rick just told me today my boy just told me that Nobody this is what me. what was in it and mm -hmm. i'm i'm really mad right now yep. really really mad so oh. anyway. i don't care who you are gambian nigerian uh -oh. Uh -oh. tanzania uh -oh. If you do me wrong, I will confront you. Ahead, uh, that's just the way I am. Go I don't ahead. care who you are. I mean, I may not get anything out of it, but I'm going to let you know I knew what you did. Gotcha, sweet mama. Okay. Bam. Moving right along. Harmon has put some more citrus plants in between mm -hmm. these palm trees. So, guys, imagine coming here having some palm wine with a, with a, with a slice of lemon or... Uh, Lime in the palm wine. I gotta see what with that some is. cayenne pepper. I don't know about that. Here's That's the avocado. good. Look at the avocado I'm gonna kick in, baby. That's almost like some tequila. Mm -hmm. There you go. You tripping? All right, sweet mama. Anyway, <laughs> there's our dinner. Where? Almond again. Almond loves citrus plants, don't you, sweet mama? I love citrus plants. It's I good for. So, it's good I'm, for you. I thought he was personally going a little bit overboard over here, but no. Go ahead, homie. Do your thing. What is this one? This right here it look like a lime. See how the smaller leaves are? Mm, it smells so good, Ooh, guys. Smell good. Really, it does. Oh my God, I love that smell. Mm -hmm. It's just blowing right now. That's a better. Sorry, guys, if you hear the wind. I'm so sorry. I hadn't picked up the mic yet, but I will when, when I find them. What we say we was gonna do that? When I find oh, oh, them, yeah, yeah, yeah. the mic. mic. No, no, you quit playing. I am gonna get those mics. I don't like all that noise either. No, I never play like that. Okay, did you do? We show the we show the other side of this is the security house, the kitchen and living room area. Right, and this is uh, when you're coming over here, guys, and you're getting a uh, uh, wall done or the house done. Make sure you tell these guys to give you some plaster. Because there is a difference between doing mm -hmm. regular mason work and requesting plaster. I think it should be. Included. Well, normally when you build something, they say to you, so they normally do it. But some people just choose not to because some of them try to run a okie doke on you. Yeah, because we didn't specify. But anyway, guys, when you come to bed <coughs> and you're out here, you know, this right here will be the male and female bathroom. That's you come through the door. There's a light. There's a light. And you can either use the male if you're a male and female if you're a female. And there'll be a door. You can come in here and handle business and wash your hands and everything. Mm -hmm. so let's go over here to the suck away. Okay. Soak away. Oh, okay. Whatever. What we call is a septic tank. tank in America. What we call it. So, the guys came out here and did their little brickwork and stuff. And so, you can see we got um, two... Uh, what do you call them, babe? Two boxes, two concrete uh, square, triangular, rectangular. Yeah, whatever. And there's a hole for the overflow and stuff. So uh, these guys are coming right along and uh, doing a great job. Doing a great job. All right, sweet mom. Anything else you want to add? That's it so far, you want you want to go over here? Huh? What? Oh, enjoy your juice. <laughs> okay, then. All right. <laughs> okay, and guys, here's the back view of the sec security, security house. Security house. And the guys have already finished plastering back here and stuff. Yep, stay there. And so, got the little plumbing right. hanging out there down there at the bottom. Right, this job should be done in, within the next week or so. Yeah, hopefully. Right. Did we ever well, show them what we did with the uh I don't know. Okay. Let's just go over there and see. All right. All right, guys, this is our uh fully functional 10,000 liter capacity borehole system. Uh, we got the ability to 
pump 5,000 liters from this side. Or pump 5,000 liters from this side. And the tanks are up there. Are up there, or we can fill them up simultaneously. Now, this isn't completed yet, because we're going to enclose this, and you'll be able to come inside here and go inside here to either ensure that the filter is, or the desalination filter, filtering system is uh, functional, mm -hmm. and uh, everything is in good order and stuff. So this will be closed off, and we have a door here and a door here where you can go in there and handle business. But again, this is what we have right here, and we've got two discharge lines. One and there. We've got one uh, water tap over here that we can water plants around here in this area. And then we got water taps running out this way, or excuse me, discharge lines going out this way that will eventually turn into water taps that feed the uh, fruit trees and eventually the garden beds and yes. stuff. So we got one going this way and we have another one that'll swing back across the road that'll go over there and take care of the uh, pawpaws and the uh, pomegranates and all the fruit that you have. Exactly, sweet, sweet mama. Yeah, can't even remember I so much stuff. And then we got a little line that's gonna kick back that way. They're gonna go and- um, Take care of my nanas. Yeah, take care of the bananas and papayas and mangoes. Right before that, we kind of got like a little mango orchard and stuff like that. And, and the- uh, And there's another citrus garden way back there by the chicken house, but that's a whole nother video. What are those trees, the well, bamboo trees? Yeah, some bamboo trees Yeah, bamboo over trees, there. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're we're heading we're, we're, in the we're right place, along, guys. guys. All right. So, sweet mama, you got anything else to say before we wrap this up? I think you said it all, sweet daddy. Okay. You still about to leave me since your vehicle in the shop now? <laughs> yeah, it's hot out here. Oh, all right, then. All right, uh, hot back family. Out here uh, for what you say? Him? No. <laughs> all right, back family. Until next time. Love, peace, soul. soul. Bye, guys. Bye.